Um, excuse me, I'm trying to. Could you could you get your llamas out of here? I am trying to do a screenshot. Hello and welcome back to Monotonous Minecraft, episode eighty. What are we doing today? Something goofy. So what happens is a lot of times I uh, if I'm having trouble thinking what decide what I want to build. Ask my son, and invariably what he says is a donut house. Um, and this has been going on for months. So I decided, okay, let's build a donut house. And for this donut house, we're going to use some wool. Because I'm going to make the homer. Now, I need a lot. And a lot of blocks. Uh, I'm using plots uh, for my torus shape. Because that's all the donut is, is torus. Um, unfortunately, plots only does it um, like horizontally. And I want a vertical donut. So I'm going to have to do some translations on my head. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. So I'm going to grab a bunch. Um, but I know I need 984 blocks total, which I forgot to do the math to get how many, um, blocks that is. Um, now usually, uh, the reason I've avoided, um, wool up until this point is because, this is not going to be nearly enough, is it? That's fine. Is because, uh, the stuff catches fire and burns down the ground. <laughs> That's just what happens. So hopefully this house will last. Um, I thought about building on stills. I thought about putting it uh, like on the, the giant donut shop in L.A., I think. Um, but nah, I'm just going to build it on the ground level out here and just walk into it. And right here. Here. How wide is this thing? So my measurements are the diameter is 24 blocks. The thickness is 8 blocks. And the precision, precision is 6 blocks. So I need my base platform is going to be a 4 by 6 thing, um, which I'm going to build out of brown because the pink will just be used for the front. I was thinking about trying to do sprinkles with like um, item frames pushed into the blocks and everything, but A, I'm not even sure if that's possible, and B, I know I don't want to do that, and I just realized that my block color didn't change because this version hates me. Like, of all the problems people see in Bedrock, that's the one that annoys me most converting over. So these are all one, two, three. Inconvenient. But they're seven apart. So my, my torture shouldn't be in the way, but it's going to be off-center. So enjoy that. <laughs> and apparently we're building it here. Okay, that's fine. That's five. And... Boom, layer one done. Now I just have to go 24 layers up in the air. And woohoo, we'll be done. <laughs> I'm also not real sure about how I'm going to go into and out of this thing. Um, so for right now, we're just going to build a big old hollow donut. And I'll figure it out later. I also need to get some shears. Because while you can do this with an X or anything else... Shears a little instant. Um, looking at the thing. Boy, the hard part is really going to be translating this to the vertical. I'm trying to think of a way I can do it. Nope. <laughs> All I have to do is stare between my laptop screen and my TV screen and <laughs> go back and forth. Can I? Can I? What about, what about this? What about that? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. I could probably dump... Yeah, a bunch of stone. Don't need stone. Where are my shears? Shear insanity! Yeah, so uh, watching someone, I noticed that you can change the color of things you name. So that's pretty sweet. So let's put that here. No, let's put that here. Let's put pink down here. I said pink. Oh my god! Urgh. Okay, that way we have both colors and our shears ready to go. And I'm sure I'll only make mistakes a hundred times. Um, I'm trying to look at the second level. Okay, so this... If I imagine, this comes out three. And then this comes out three.
and this comes out to okay cool so this process if you want to do it yourself is uh, pretty much this you pull up the uh, picture you want to create why would I do that to myself <laughs> You pull up the picture you want to create on a uh, line, and then you create it. <laughs> I know. It's just that simple. Just that obvious. Now, I grabbed a bunch of torches so I could light the inside of this thing up. <laughs> so I'm not just creating a giant mob farm. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I built it by the... Uh, the wool because obviously I'm going to burn through a lot of this which means that maybe I'll need to create a bunch of shears and um, you know oh it's already becoming dark uh, it's raining it rains constantly um, create a bunch of shears and actually get this uh, sheep farm geared up again see if it works I'm pretty sure it will even on bedrock but I haven't tested it so Now on this third layer is when we're going to start putting the pink in for the frosting. And the frosting side is going to be on the front side. And while in theory I would like to make it all kind of neat and like not uniform, um, in practice I'm not going to do that for this build. If I were, Scaffolding. Scaffolding would also be a good idea. If I were going to uh, do this like flat, where it wasn't such a going to be such a pain to build up, I probably would do um, the frosting a little bit like woo up and down and neat looking. For this, it's just going to be on the front. It'll be fine. So let's start by doing this and this for these and this. This design doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, because it's two shapes together. This is going to be way too pink, but that's okay. Is this pink or is this magenta? Oh, no wonder. It's magenta. I'm going to go get pink. Yeah, that looks better. I mean, the brown is kind of dark for what it is, but that's okay. And I never got scaffolding. <laughs> Dang it. So the pink does that. And then the brown will be there. Well, wow. third layer, already difficult. Why can't you rotate this plots? Go away, kitty. I'm trying to think. You're distracting me. I mean, basically, all this is is a matter of you know, kind of changing your point of view um, to what you're looking at. It's not always going to be easy. But hopefully it will always be possible. So if that goes there, I'm trying to look at it. Am I? If I'm upside down, if I'm sideways, wait, there it is. If I'm sideways, and then this curves. Yeah, totally do it as if you were sideways. It actually works. And it turns out this layer layer is a little bit easier for that than the others.
that it? No, it was too many. You fool! Okay, so if I'm looking at this sideways... Da... Da, da, da. Yeah. q -il. q q q -il. Now I'm going to get some scaffolding. Try to check my block count. I'm going to need tons and tons more. And I'm kind of wondering... kind of thinking maybe I should actually build it like in like this instead of trying to go up. That way at least I can use the features of the, the highlighted rows and plots to make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, I guess layers, not really rows. Alright, let me get some scaffolding. Let me start throwing some stuff up. We'll jump over when I get, when I figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. A nice pink O in the sky. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the um, circle just like this on the brown on this back side. And then um, fill in the gap all the way around to finish up this donut. And I think that'll work. And based on the fact that I keep having to run so far away to sleep, I think I'm going to turn this into some sort of house. Let's see if the double door. Maybe I'll just put up some stairs. Go through the back here. Trap door. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Let me get the let me get the back side on. The bit. The donut butt. <laughs> and we'll see uh we'll see how far I get. Uh, more sleeping far, far away. Okay, so before I do what I usually do and build the rest of it without thinking about it, here's a bit of a check-in for a change. I went ahead and put an entrance in here, made an actual place to live, put some pink glass windows. I realize also if this thing burns to the ground, I can just build out of glass. It won't look as cool. I mean, it'll look cooler in some ways, but <laughs> um, I could make pink glass and dirt that could... uh strangely work <laughs> thought I'd go with the pink bed too so yeah I mean it's a little bit easier I if you are gonna do this or any kind of Taurus you're gonna do it upright um, I have found it's much easier actually to do the outside ends and kind of work your way in it's a little bit easier to see based on the picture what you're looking at the center part was a little bit harder but I think I've got it um, it's going to be the hardest part probably to fill in. Yeah, we'll see. It's only, I mean, it's four across, so once you get the parts in, it should be okay. I put some scaffolding inside, but it wasn't enough. I fell a few times, but, you know, armor's still solid. So I'm going to get the uh, brown on the pink side done. The calculation I did suggests we only need 16 stacks of blocks total. We'll see how that goes. Um, I think that's probably, I mean, 984 divided by 64 is 15 and some change, so 16 stacks. And I don't remember how many the pink I used, but I returned like four stacks almost. And we've got, yeah, plenty of brown still. But as usual, um, or if you've seen any of my videos, you know my math is often very wrong, even though it's... Very simple math. I don't know why. I don't know where the disconnect happens. <laughs> Llamas everywhere. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'll probably wrap the rest of this up before I check in again. Unless something spectacular happens. Um, which I can't imagine it is. I will. Or whatever. Verbs. But, yeah. I mean, other than that, it's just uh, climbing up here and throwing some stuff down. Brown brown trim that because we don't need it and continue oh yeah don't do what I was about to do and did the last time build all the way up around the circle realize you can't get down because you have the scaffolding in there <laughs> yeah let me put some more of that up I'll continue building all right after 
much work. We have a donut. Let me get rid of this map. We have a donut. No, get rid of the map. The map is blocking it. What's going on? I can't see. <laughs> also, lots of dirt. Yeah, so it turned out really nice. I like it. I uh, I did widen the um, the pink frosting because I only had done this outer layer and it didn't look like enough. Um, and I found that it wasn't too terrible to do the inside things here. <coughs> I definitely suggest if you're going to build something like this, do it like I did, do the outer layers and then just kind of build in the middle. It worked out pretty easily. Got my finished stairs here. Bloop, bloop. I'm hoping I lit it well enough all the way up. <laughs> you can tell that I, I've got lights up there on the inside. You can just see some torches. And I've got it matching all the way through. I mean, it's dark there, but... You know, mobs can't spawn underneath stuff, so that should be fine. And yeah, it's, you know, nice spacious house. Good looking. Um, I was thinking for uh, sprinkle ideas. Um, I mean, technically you could put sprinkles in here on there with just, you know, different color wool blocks here. But it is kind of small for sprinkles, quite frankly. So that's why I left them out. I want a trader everywhere. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to... Could you could you get your llamas out of here? I am trying to do a screenshot. I'm looking for my... Well, it's not really a screenshot because I just let it do whatever. I'm trying to get my thumbnail here. There's llamas everywhere. <laughs> whatever. That's a good shot. I want to see this from distance. It's taller than my firehouse. It's quite ridiculous. And I was going to make it bigger. This is 24 blocks tall. I was going to make it 32. <laughs> Which seems like that might be excessive. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Let me get my map back out because I can't. Small world, I still don't know where the heck I'm going anytime I'm going out here. Let's see, I want to go. Uh, okay, I'm going out here next. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, I'm, I'm glad I did that. I hope that if I ask my son any uh, more, like if he has ideas, he'll come up with something different now. Hi, chicken. Um, but. I, but I don't know. I think it was a good one. He's been saying it for months. I finally did it. I'm glad I did. Last time I was over here, not too long ago, um, I did get a, another iron golem into my, what was an iron farm. It's still mostly fish. A couple of drowned. And, drowns coming at night. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this farm does stuff. It's just weird. Anyway, I'm going over here to put some dirt uh, dirt in around the edge of my world. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you liked that one. It was kind of fun. Nice build. I'll talk to everyone later.